the kitchen. Today I'm joined by my lovely friend Donna. Hello Donna, thanks for coming. Hello, lovely to be here. Well Donna is actually a fashion expert as I like to say. I'm quite useless at fashion but you know everything about it don't you? Uh, you're not useless at fashion <laughs> at all but um, yeah I like to think I'm an expert. So we've been working together for a couple of years and today we're going to do a collaboration showing how to use edible prints. Here's the print and we've been working with Balcon. Um, they've got a lovely floral print dress I'm modelling today and it's to celebrate the launch of my new book Botanical Baking. So we thought we'd do something nice and botanical. So first of we're going to start off with a sugar cookie dough. Okay. It's a really nice dough because you can roll it out and you can cut it into any shapes. We've got some golden caster sugar and we've got some soft butter, then a good old splash of vanilla bean paste. Why paste and not essence? Well I prefer this because I love seeing all the little vanilla seeds oh. um, and also this is uh, more of a natural taste, there's no alcohol in it. That's it. So that's just, as you can see, it's combined a few, few tiny bits of butter, that's fine. Oh, and you can see the vanilla. Yeah. So now we're going to add one egg, okay. one medium egg, and we're just going to mix that again on slow, just so it's combined. Dump in our flour, this is just plain flour, mm -hmm. all in at once. Amazing. How easy is that? Sticky. A bit yummy. Yeah. Do you like it? Are you one of those people that eats cookie dough or cake? Or ca oh no! So we're just going to roll out a little bit of this. So, do you mind just bringing that together um, for me, Donna, just into a nice, nice smooth ball? Right. So I've just got a bit of flour there on the surface. These are brilliant. These are called um, sometimes marzipan spacers okay. or guide sticks, and I use them for cookies and like rolling out icing because it keeps everything completely level, oh. so it's going to be nice and equal. And that's the rolling pin. So this is my rolling pin. I've never seen a rolling pin. Haven't before. you? No. <laughs> this is a special cake decorating one. It's like the Chanel of rolling pins. That yeah, that's right? what it is. Yeah. yeah. So all we need to do is just roll it out, um, giving it a little bit of a quarter turn every so often. So give it a bit of a roll. Okay. I just want to use the rolling pin. Use the rolling pin like this. Under pressure now, so I'm <laughs> hand back to you. You can, you can apply for this year's bake off, I think. <laughs> so, I've just got some um, cutters like this, and we'll do the larger one for the cookie, uh -huh. and then we'll do a slightly smaller one for the edible print. Okay. So, then we'll, we'll, have a, we'll be able to have a little border to pipe around. Cut out some little circles like that. So, I just put my baking tray over there. Uh -huh. Teamwork makes yes. the dream work. And how regularly do you want them? So, I think just leave like a couple of centimeters in between, they don't spread too much. You're fast. Am I? Yeah. Oh, I should be really, shouldn't I? <laughs> so that's nine cookies there. We're going to carry on rolling these um, and we're going to just bake them off. You can re-roll baking batches so we'll be back when they're baked. Okay, so our biscuits are all baked. They wow, look rather well, delicious. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll out our decoration. It's now time to apply the edible print onto our biscuits. Just roll out some sugar paste. Have you used this before? Have you never like, rolled out icing for a ch child's cake? Listen, if I need a child's cake, I contact you. <laughs> so what you want to do is just knead it until it feels sort of a bit warmer and, and pliable. So that's definitely softer now. I think personal trainers are missing out on a trick here. This should be part of your um, workout. <laughs> yeah. It's really quite It's brutal. quite stiff, isn't it? Bit of icing sugar. So you use icing sugar instead of flour? Yes, right, exactly. Okay. So that's yeah. the difference. It feels a bit stiffer than the sugar, uh, oh, the sure. cookie. Oh my do goodness. Bit, yeah. yeah, it is, yeah. That's still in love with this rolling pin. We need to apply our edible prints to our icing. So I got sent this over from the lovely team at Balcon. They sent me their print, they use on the dress, and then I printed it out on my edible printer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so to stick it on, we need a magic ingredient, a bit of vodka. Vodka? Yeah. If you don't want to use alcohol, um, you can use cold boiled water, but I like to use vodka, because it's alcoholic, why not? So you see what I'm doing, I'm just, painting over the surface. I'm not yep. drenching it, no. so I'm just making it a little bit tacky. Because like, a lot of the time I'll use brandy to stick things to, mm -hmm. but if I've got a very light coloured print, I wouldn't do that because um, the brandy's got a kind of like caramel colour. Yeah. So vodka's a, a good one. And it's also, it's you can use gin too if you... Oh, okay. <laughs> now you're talking. Take our edible sheets, and we can do one each, I think. Just be careful because um, you don't want to get anything, any water on the top. I'm not as good at this as you. I've got your excess there. Just take the backing off like okay. that. So what you need to do is just make sure you're not trapping any air bubbles, so just kind of like lay it over like that. Mm -hmm. And you can lay your one over next to mine. With no air bubbles. Yeah. And now we're going to use a smaller cutter, mm -hmm. and all you do is just literally cut it out. You'll find that the paper can be quite stiff, so you just kind of like have to kind of give it a bit of a pressure. twist. Yeah, that's it, and then look. There it is. All right. Mind blown. And we're going to stick the um, edible print onto the biscuits, and the way that I like to do that I've just got a little bit of warm apricot jam 
Oh, I don't like jam. Do you Sorry. not? What could you use instead of jam? So if you don't want to use jam, you can use uh, golden syrup, or you can use a bit of agave, or you can even use a bit of royal icing. Sorry about this, they're going to be jammy today. Right. But it's like you're only using a tiny bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wowzers. Fantastic. So it's just a case of laying them on. I think they actually look quite nice just like this. Yeah, they're amazing. Um, but it's a nice touch if you just want to add a little border onto it. We thought we'd do a little bit of pink, so there's quite a lot of pink on the print. There's um, a lot of fashion in this. You is know? there? It's about the colours <laughs> and what goes. Well, exactly. What works. Oh my goodness, you're not going to ask me to see this, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got it in a piping bag. We've got a nozzle, a number two round nozzle. We've got stiff peak royal icing. Okay. Just take a small amount, give it a twist. So you see how I twist it? You see it's starting to come out there. Oh. So we're going to actually make a snail trail or a, or a pearl trail, it's called. Yeah. Between the thumb and finger like that and all of your hand round okay. it. All right, like and that. And then go mean. very close, like actually almost touching the surface. Give it a squeeze. Yeah. And then just and keep it close to the table. So quite a fat squeeze and yeah. then just drag back. I've given birth. How hard can it be? <laughs> You're going to squeeze against the edge and just... I am freestyling in true fashion <laughs> style and created my own wonky your own signature tree signature pearl trail brilliant look at that i've nailed it have you nailed it um <laughs> yes hold it up come on, hold it up be proud prettiest picture i think yours looks better but they look amazing <laughs> i think they look amazing what i love it's a gorgeous print thank you very much for joining me today i hope you've enjoyed watching and everything you need to make these is just down there we'll see you really soon should we eat them yeah <laughs>